All right, guys. Lean bulking versus dirty bulking. Some people may refer to lean bulking as clean bulking. I don't use that term because I might use it in the title because it's more commonly used. However, I believe clean bulking is where you eat a lot of clean foods. I know it's the opposite of dirty, but I do believe dirty bulking. You can uh, interpret it however you want, but basically in this video, lean bulking is going to be a small calorie surplus and dirty bulking is going to be a high calorie surplus. Whenever I use the word dirty bulking, I don't mean eating a lot of foods which are considered dirty, meaning like high carbohydrate, simple sugar, carbohydrate meals with high fat and highly processed. That's not what I mean in this video. So, first of all, what is lean bulking? Lean bulking is where you try and put on as much muscle as possible and stay as lean as possible. And to achieve this, what people usually do is, say you figure out what your current calorie intake is to maintain your current body size at whatever you're at. Say it's 2,500 calories. Someone who wants to go on a bulk from that state is, doing a lean bulk, is they'll slightly increase it. Now, I would say... Some people might do it very minuscule and do 50 calories, but usually people increase it by 100 calories. See how long they can gain weight for with that amount of calories. Once they hit a plateau, plateau, they'll start to increase that again, maybe bump it up by another 100 calories. However, if someone's dirty bulking, there's quite... Now, this is such a fucking high scale on how someone could dirty bulk but basically whenever someone's dirty bulking they'll increase the calories significantly to make gains as quick as possible and also they don't they don't really care as much about fat gain now obviously a lot of people won't want to become fat who dirty bulk they just go by the sheer amount of mass that you can build over that period of time however so what a person will do if they're dirty bulking is say it's the same person who t takes 2500 calories to maintain their current body size what they'll do is they'll increase their calorie intake significantly meaning that they'll go from 2500 calories and increase it by 300 calories or even more some people might increase it by 500 calories even more however whatever you choose so now that you know what dirty bulking is and lean bulking is i want to go over the pros and cons of each first of all lean bulking these are great benefits of lean bulking first of all Whenever you cut, and this is the best pro of it, whenever you cut, if you've dirty bulk before, you know how hard it is to cut. But if you lean bulk, you can cut so quickly, and that is such a big advantage. And second of all, you'll stay lean year round, which is quite quite a big benefit. You know, it's not fun being overweight and sort of nearly as if you don't want to take your top off during the months that you're bulking and you only have the time whenever you're cutting that you feel confident with your physique. However, there are cons to this. You may usually you know you might some people might but usually you won't gain as much size as you will whenever you're dirty bulking which is quite a big disadvantage especially if you're someone who wants to gain as much size as possible and fourth of all <laughs> it or second of all it will not be as fun as dirty bulking i i'm going to go into dirty bulking here a big benefit of dirty bulking is that you will gain as much size as you possibly can during that off season, meaning that you're eating so many calories that your body absolutely is going to store as much muscle as possible. Second of all, whenever you're dirty bulking, it also it leaves it up that those calories can be used for other things throughout your day, meaning that you might have more energy to train more times a day, which could mean that you get more hypertrophy in for building certain types of muscle, which isn't a huge benefit, and I don't recommend training twice a day, but I have noticed whenever I'm in a significant calorie surplus, I do have a lot more energy for doing weight-oriented uh, workouts. Definitely not cardio which is going on the, the negative side effects. However, whenever you're dirty bulking, you will not have the same sort of cardiovascular strength that you usually might have had. Uh, for me personally, I, I didn't really notice it, but it is one of the things which is considered. Some people do complain that they don't have as good of ability to breathe. I've never experienced that, but some people say that. And also, it is hard as hell to cut, especially depending on how hard you bulk. If you saw my shredding series, it took me 10 and a half weeks to cut my fat and not do a shredded stage level, probably to about 10 or 12% body fat, which isn't very lean. And also I saw Chris Jones, it took him a long time to cut as well, he dirty bulked. So basically what I want to say to you is, a lot of people ask me, 
should I dirty bulk or should I clean bulk? And what am I doing personally? But I'm going to cover that at the end of the video for people who are just interested in what lean bulking is and what dirty bulking is and whether they should do it. What I'm going to say to you is, if you're someone who started off fat, not meaning to be derogatory, but if you're someone who started off fat and you've been able to get yourself very lean, which is kind of like what I started off with before I really started bulking, I got so shredded. If you saw my 16-year-old posing video, that was me from just being on such a calorie deficit and training every single day, and I got so, so lean. So if you've done something like that before and you know you can get lean, I would recommend dirty bulking. Now, I would also recommend dirty bulking to people who are just interested in gaining as much muscle as possible. You will gain a lot of muscle. Now, I don't mean eating uh, low-quality foods like donuts and stuff. You can't throw those into your diet, but be definitely do cover the basic, not the basic requirements. Make sure you get your basic foods in. Like Stick to, I would say, good-quality foods like sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, good-quality protein sources. Make sure you get in a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruits. You want to be a peak health during your bulk. You don't want to just get in proteins, carbs, and fats. You want to get in healthy foods. That's what I want to say. And if your health is not the most important thing to you, then you need to rethink why you're bodybuilding because you're not going to be alive long if you're not taking care of your body. But however, not to go on a different rant. Bulking, dirty bulking. So I'm also going to recommend dirty bulking. So if you're someone who's wanting to put on as much weight, as much muscle as quick as possible, do dirty bulking. Lean bulking. Who would I recommend lean bulking to? I would recommend lean bulking to people who want to gain muscle, definitely, obviously, for people who want to gain muscle, but want to stay as lean as possible. So if you have a competition in four months or five months, and you want to spend a few months putting on a wee bit more muscle, then definitely lean bulk. Also, if you're someone who's never cut before, lean bulk, because you might find it extremely difficult to cut again after doing a dirty bulk. There you have it, guys. Dirty bulking versus lean bulking. Boom! Now... For me personally, what am I doing? By the way, guys, in this fucking video, I'm sweating so much. And that's because it is so fucking hot outside. And I have my windows in my car up. Because I don't want you to hear the noises from outside. However, I'm opening up the window. Because it is fucking unbearable. So, what am I doing, guys? Well, if you noticed and you've been following me for a while. I finished my 10 and a half week cut, which I did. And I've stopped it for about nine weeks now. Now, in those nine weeks, I've put on over two stone, which is a significant amount of weight. And you best believe a lot of that is fucking muscle. I've noticed my muscles. And I remember Dorian Yates saying this, that after a cut, he believed, and a lot of his peers believed, that right after a show, whenever you're your leanest, and you go into a bulk, and you train a lot, and you eat a lot, that you put on some of your best gains. And I have noticed that from this bulk. Whenever I got cut, and I put on, and I started being in a calorie surplus, making sure I was training every day and progressing, I did put on a lot of gains. But I had the experience of dirty bulking last year. Now, I didn't eat a lot of shit foods. I, I didn't have the channel from then, whenever I was dirty bulking. But my average day would have been... Uh, 100 grams of oats in the morning blended with a scoop of somewhere protein I would have thrown some superfoods in there I would have had that meal my second meal would have been six fried eggs four slices of br brown bread and then I would have went to the gym came back had a fruit salad and then had probably uh, let me try and get this as, out as quick as possible probably about 400 grams worth of mashed potato, a chicken breast, some uh, sort of gravy or something with that that I would have made homemade, and then some steamed veg. So I was dirty bulking, but I wasn't eating a lot of shit foods. Now, let me tell you what I noticed happened. Whenever I dirty bulked, I put on a fuckload of strength, like uh, incredibly large amounts of strength. I went from a 90 kilogram squat for zero reps, do a 130 kilogram squat for two reps at the end of that bulk, which I, I was extremely happy with. So I did put on a lot of strength. I put on a lot of muscle. I went from, whenever I was lean before I started that bulk, I was, I think about 70, I was anywhere from 67 to 71 kilograms. And then whenever I cut last year, I think I got down to about 84 kilograms. 
So I have put on a lot of muscle and I can see it on my body that I put on a lot of muscle. But after I cut that last time, I'm thinking right now, I, I had my cut, I enjoyed eating a significant amount of food, but that's not how I'm going to do it for the rest of this bulk. I'm wanting to lean bulk as much as possible. And then coming up maybe towards times of the year where I, like say Christmas or anything, where I might eat a lot, I'll just enjoy myself. I'm not going to limit myself in any way. However, I'm not just going to pig out and eat as much as I can to put on as much weight as possible. I have to remember that I'm a bodybuilder not a competitive eater, so I want to still maintain a very good physique and do what's optimal for gaining muscle and as staying as good a shape as possible. For you that are watching this video, who are my subscribers and want to know, there's that question answered. Leave any comments you want down below and I'll get back to them. Boom!